Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up Oculus Air Link on your Quest device. You need the Oculus Quest 2. You need to make sure you've got this updated to the latest version, version 28 and beyond. I've got a separate video covering how to do that if you don't get the option to do it by the headset, basically how to force it. Depending on when you're watching the video, you may get the option if you're watching it we are pr pretty much as soon as it comes out you may not get the option because the update is pretty new and you might need to force the update and what you can do is if you there'll be a link in the description I'll put all the stuff that you really need in one easy to use location so if you go to our discord group and just scroll down to emulation and games go to oculus and in here you go to pinned messages and we have you know stuff like forcing the oculus quest update which you will need there's other tutorials on on here as well but that's the main one you will need also make sure actually you don't need in developer mode you just need version 28 at the bare minimum and a few other caveats with the oculus air link which allow you to play you know well oculus rift games onto your quest wirelessly because you could use oculus link which was using a you know decent quality cable but with wireless it's even better more immersive but you know the caveats are you need a really good router honestly it doesn't work that good for me because i have a default router i'm waiting for the new asus you know rog axe 11000 router to come out you can google that still not out in the uk i've been tempted to get it from ebay from america but it, well it's it's not out yet and so you need a very good router and also it's recommended that your pc which is actually doing the heavy lifting should be connected to the network using ethernet both of the devices your computer and your quest need to be connected to the same network so just you know bear those things in mind the other thing that you need to do is make sure you obviously have the oculus rift software if you don't you can just go to do if you just google oculus Rift software you can obviously google it properly <laughs> and just download the rift software install it and then just log in and any games you got download and you can play them so in here you want to go to settings beta and before we go to beta you want to go to general sorry scroll down and make sure you're on oculus at version 28 or newer well what, what i like about the oculus Rift software is if you're not on the latest firmware a little ribbon at the top or banner comes up constantly letting you know that you're not on the latest firmware so just you know update and in beta you want to enable air link we can we can leave this open we can minimize whatever your choice actually i'll minimize it and i'll open up edge and what i'm gonna do is cast my screen so you can see what's going on in here okay casting 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 it's not like i'm saying testing 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 you see my screen in a moment. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you can see my screen now. And for this, you need to make sure, like I said, you are on version 28 or newer. And so you want to go settings, go about, click software update. If you cannot update to 28 or newer on this, you can check out that video on Discord that I posted, which will allow you to force. A version update and once you've done that go to experimental features go to air link and okay so this just gives you a few requirements it says only use air link on a secure wi-fi network that you trust basically your own home network use a 5 gigahertz network on an ac or ax wireless router connected to your pc with an ethernet cable make sure your pc meets the oculus link requirements blah 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 make sure it's basically powerful enough and the following are known to cause performance issues using a PC connected wirelessly, mind wired, using a mesh or a 2.4 gigahertz network. So, yeah, okay, so click continue. And now you want to go all the way up, go to quick actions. And actually, one thing I forgot to show you 
is if we go to um, yeah you can still you can see me I just wanted to make sure if we go to the oculus software it says here air link will turn off automatically if it isn't in use for 24 hours so it does turn off so you do need to turn it on automatically if it crashes off finally turns off as well so let's go back there make sure it is turned on and now so while you're still on your headset can you see what i see yes you want to go to settings quick action oculus air link select your computer that's the one click it click pair or pair it first then this launch button will become available click launch and you'll see me go into the oculus rift menu soon so see the logos appeared my hands have appeared and there we go we are in the oculus menu go to library scroll up and down and that's it so that's really all i'm going to show you you can obviously launch a game play you can do it standing you can do it sitting down that is totally up to you like i said make sure you do have a really really good router because otherwise you will get crashes you will get slowdowns and that's basically what i experienced for the simple reason i don't have the best router so wait for that route to come out that's it that's how you set up oculus link i know a few people have been having issues with oculus air link where i think i said link oculus air link before oculus air link version 28 and like 120 hertz feel free to you know message on the discord group in the oculus channel and we'll help you out so that's it thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video